Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So first, I just wanted to clarify a small thing. Me and Ayush um, decided that we're gonna start recording our videos in English. The reason being, Ayush has so many friends and talking in Telugu is actually uh, not helping or they are not able to understand what we do or what we are go what I mean they get the idea but they don't understand what we're talking. So we decided to start recording the videos in English, right Ayush? Yeah. So from today onwards you will see our videos mostly in English. Um, maybe here and there I will try to record for our Telugu audiences but mostly it's gonna be English. So thank you for that. Um, and thank you for supporting us. So today we are going to the neighboring state Wisconsin. The reason being there is a creamery, um, a cheese cheesecake factory, right? Well, I mean, creameries can be all things dairy products. Right. So yes. Like creamy, creamery means like ice cream, cakes, um, regular whipped cream, and all sorts of dairy. Products. And we find all of that in this place. Um, they also have a restaurant. It's a small restaurant. They don't have much, but I think on from Thursday to Sunday they have uh, pizzas. So and the name is Nielsen's Creamery. Um, so yeah, let's go there, check it out. Let's see um, what they have to offer. I have heard that a lot of good reviews about them. They have like a wide variety of cheese and whatnot. So let's check it out. We are crossing um, a small, like Ayush calls, cozy town of Red Wing. This is the first time uh, me and Ayush actually going through this town. I don't think we are gonna stop here, but maybe while coming back, um, this this town actually reminds me of my college town, Eri. Um, I where I studied my where I did my masters. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it looks pretty similar. And that's how I would call it. It's, it's not a small town. I thought Red Wing was a small city. It doesn't look like it. It has a Walmart, a Target, which means it's a pretty decent sized town. I mean, of course, the traffic is not that much, which is really nice. That's how I like it. Um, looks beautiful though. But one thing I've seen is as we start moving away from Minnesota towards south, like Wisconsin in this case, or a little east, south, southeast, or southwest, whatever you call, the greenery. Actually, the, the, the greenery um, increases, the trees, the kind of trees which we see in Minnesota are... Uh, Wisconsin has different kind of trees, that's how I, I'd say it's in simple terms. But Minnesota is mainly like plains and like, um, right, right. like flat landscapes. Right. So you don't see trees that much often. Mm -hmm. But if you go to like, um, as my dad was saying, it's more of like forests and like. It's yeah, more like, hilly and mountainous regions, right? The yeah. Wisconsin side. So yeah, that's like, that's. And but yeah, it looks beautiful. You see, there, there, lots of hills. That's a hill. That's another hill. Lots of hills around. So 
so this looks like um, I can be completely wrong but this looks like this is uh, Red Wings downtown so the city which we uh, where, where I was talking about it looks like a big city I think that is the other part of the newer version of the city near newer town this is more more charming old historic like place looks beautiful oh by the way we are still in Minnesota we are just closing to Wisconsin as we drive still beautiful That's Lake Pepin and the other side the cliffs you're seeing that is Wisconsin we are on the Minnesota side so we are actually going to the that side of the lake Wisconsin my phone said so and that is that is Wisconsin that's the board I was waiting for and we are in Buffalo County. so welcome to Wisconsin So guys, we are at uh, Nielsen's Creamery. So it's very close to the border. It's not too far. Uh, but you see that? That's the historic um, creamery which we wanted to come for a long time. Couldn't make it, but finally we are here. Um, one thing, one important thing which I've heard, this creamery is super, super, super busy. So right now I can see the amount of cars which have been parked, you can see that, right? This is all the people waiting probably to have their meal in this uh, creamery so we'll go inside and check it out what what they have and what they have to offer um first let let me pick up the car keys i forgot them in the car and then we'll go walk i hope we find a place to sit but it looks beautiful it's all green around
got some cilantro, lime, uh, gar garlic licious, and olives. Okay, love olives. Cheddar. Oh, no, it's good. And the other stuff. Also, pickles. Also have a beautiful wine selection, which is super nice. They have 10% off six or more wine bottles. That is awesome. I didn't know that Nielsen Creamery used to had uh, like not just food, ice creams. They have cheese, wine, and all all sort of stuff around here. So this is kind of pretty, and it looks beautiful. So they have all these cheese options. whole bucket load of varieties finally sitting outside and this place is just amazing the whole building is covered with wine like it's a creeper right yeah yeah it's some kind of creeper um, it looks like a wine but it's so gorgeous like the whole building We have um, a hot chicken pizza, with, of course, um, spicy chicken, some jalapenos, um, and onions. Here we have a different pizza, I do not know the name, with onions, I think, I think chicken, um, some tomatoes, and olives. And then we have three pitas. Mediterranean. So, I know Aish explained about the rest of the food. This one is med pizza, Mediterranean style, so it is vegetarian. We are trying, me and Van are trying to eat vegetarian as much as possible. Uh, uh, so, that's the whole reason. Also, we got um, this one is so good. It's the blood orange sparkling um, water, right? it's soda, you can call it. It's a Sweden one. But it's just $5, and that is what surprised me. It's just $5. Then I got some iced tea. This this is a refillable. Refills are for only, how much was that? $2, right? But refill is free. And then we have the water bottle. So let's dig in. Pizza is just amazing. And do you like did, did, Aish, did you like your pizza? Aish also loves his pizza. This one is the reason I like it most is because of the artichoke. It's delicious. This is the, the veggie pita we ordered. My favorite part on this one is the amount of sprouts it has. It's amazing. Delicious. A little salty to my taste, but the cheese. When you come to Wisconsin, you can chase, taste the freshness of the cheese for sure. Then I can see that here. That's the best part. You've been in the pizza, the cheese definitely was the one I've been in. Love it. Yeah. 
So one important thing which I forgot to mention when I was walking in the uh, the creamery, this creamery was in when, um, established in 1894 with 76 patrons um, and 241 cows. Most of the herd only had between one to ten, ten cows. So all the patrons had one to ten cows. That's what it was. So 70. How does they equate? 76 into how does it doesn't work out, right? If it is 10 cows per patron. Here and there, I guess, but yeah, overall it was 241 cows. But it is over 100 years old. 1894 is way, way long ago. And no wonder so many people from so many different states drive here to have the ice creams and all the cheese and whatever this man. Um, but the food definitely was amazing. Ayush, did you like the food here? Yeah, it was good. Good, right? It was like, I felt like it was higher quality than what you would find that's true that's what i felt too and uh, even the ice cream right yeah yeah it was made of pure milk so that is one good thing but yeah so me and ayush decided to stop at lake pepin to take a view of this beautiful lake to see what what are the what are the like things which we don't know about this lake uh, let's go climb looks beautiful so there is this boat docking yard I had a very good question right how do they take those boats out so there is a place on the side here Ayush where they drive the boat to like that and take it out from the side that's what they do we're gonna walk there okay but let's see so very old fish story Great River Road Minnesota so they have this Seems like 10,000 years ago is when the late Pippin was formed. When during the li late um, ice age, water started um, actually pumping from Mississippi River, started dumping sand into this area. So it was like a natural dam which got formed or formed of that flow inwards, and that's the whole reason they, uh, Lake Pippin came to be, right? <laughs> Like any other great lakes, this lake is not great but huge again. I mean, they say they always say it's like Minnesotans know that Minnesota is called the lake of 10,000 lakes. This one is one of them, a big one again, very big one. As you can see from behind, like it's huge and it does go and empties into the uh, Mississippi River. It is. And it's very beautiful today. It's like less no wind or breeze. So it looks very calm. You can see the waves. Ballooning or balloon flying balloon, I don't know. Uh, Hot air, uh, air balloons. Yeah. Well, what is the activity called? So it's um, it's I think I don't it's know. It's hot air ballooning. Yeah, I guess. But anyways. Yeah. Um, Bada is laughing really good. I call it ballooning. She was like. <laughs> <laughs> so Ayush got Ayush got a surprise from his mom. What did you get, Ayush? I got a ten dollar Robux. He has been. 
like nagging her for like from past 45 minutes. Like, what is that? What is that? What is that? I don't talk like that. You were you were talking like I that. I did say what is that? It said, can I see the receipt? I was being like, smart, okay? No. Let me please. Can I see the receipt? Please, please give me the receipt. Can you please tell me? Can you please <laughs> That's tell me? That's not how I was talking. You were literally begging. Yes, I was begging. I admit <laughs> that. Uh, you don't even say thank you to mom. Thank you, mom. While driving back home, so we all the way came from um, Hudson to Arden Hills uh, to a place called Namaste India to get um, some Indian food. This is and from here we're gonna go back home. So that's why Vanna was teasing me. It's like you're you're driving me between the states from Minnesota to Wisconsin, Minnesota to Wisconsin, all that stuff. So so finally we are here. Yeah, heard, I've heard a good kind good reviews about this place and i also found that it is it has a very unique menu being an indian um all i have seen everywhere is all chicken tikka masalas and everything they do have that apart from that they do have some authentic uh punjabi style um uh, uh, the dishes which are made at home from by punjabi families so that's the whole deal that's why i wanted to try this out so we will taste that and see how that goes. Thanks for watching guys. If you have liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe. And leave us a comment because it helps us improve and work better on our next videos for both me and Ayush. Yeah, and it also encourages us to make more amazing content. Thank you and see you in the next video.